action. Hi everybody, I'm Sam. Welcome to my home, to my art room. I hope everyone's doing well. I am myself very, very excited to be here starting my channel. It has not been an easy feat, let me tell you. I have made my first video, I do not know how many times. I've redone it and redone it. There's been an issue here, issue there. Put it this way, I'm new at resin, I'm new at videoing, and I'm new at editing, and I'm new at YouTube. Well, the only thing I've done on YouTube is watch videos, binge watch videos, resin videos at that. I'm addicted to resin, aren't we all? Anyway, thank you for stopping in. I wanted to take a moment to tell you what's going on. I have been blessed to have learned this art of working with resin from watching YouTube videos, from being able to binge watch videos of some fascinating, amazing, talented artists that display their work and share their knowledge with us every day, every other day they're posting a video just to get their their craft, their art, how they do what it is they do best out into the world. And I thankfully have snatched it up and I am going to hopefully be able to be as good as them one not as good as them. I would like maybe, I don't know. They got a lot of years. They got a lot of years on me working with resin and having the talent that they have. But maybe I'll be something that you know, can at least look very, very nice. That's my goal anyway, and to have some fun, continue my education, learning about resin, watching more videos, learning more and more by dealing or selecting what I need as far as molds, as far as this mica and that, what I need to order, as far as generic, as far as which brand. I hope all that makes sense. You know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to get in my groove. I'm going to have my groove of my working with resin. Now, let me tell you how my channel is going to work. I am going to choose my colors through a number generating app. Yep. I am going to have an app tell me what colors to use in my project. The reason being, I am so indecisive. I cannot choose my colors and I always go with the same plain Jane colors and I try and get color ideas from others on doing videos and it, it just doesn't seem to turn out the same and doesn't look quite as well so I came up with a new idea I was like gosh I wish there was some way I could figure out what colors to use and I did I got on my computer I found a number generating app I entered, oh, by the way, I went through and I numbered all 310 of my colors between the micas, the alcohol inks, the acrylic inks, the chameleons, the pearl X's, the metallics, your paste, everything other than the glitters and glass and rocks and other embellishments like that. My colors, just my colors, I numbered them all. And to date, we're at 310. And there's more on the way. Hopefully, we'll be here in a day or two. So, I did that so I would have a way to generate my numbers. And I found this app. It's just basically I entered number generator on Google and it pulled it up. First thing on here, you entered the parameters minimum number one, obviously, and then the max would be 310 for us. So, just to give us an example, I entered the parameter of one through 310 generate it gives us number 153 do it again 103 and so on my idea is to take four generated numbers and match them with the coordinating colors and then make my project now i have the ability to add colors i can't take away colors i have to use the four that were generated and i also have the choice of which glitters and glass and rocks and embellishments I would like to use in the piece. Now I will have videos where I'm not using the numbers generated uh, and choosing my colors, but majority of them will be picking colors out by a generating app. 
I think that this will give us some really, really good combos. I know that the other videos I've tried to record and produce and put on YouTube that has absolutely drove me crazy, those pieces turned out pretty good. And you would not believe the colors that I started with. You would not pick them out. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. Maybe that's just me, though. I just think that we are in for a treat, finding some great colors that work well together, finding colors that don't work so well together, and coming up with some creative ideas and projects. I would like to go ahead and start by generating the four numbers that I'm going to need for my colors to do our project this evening. Oh, once I have found our numbers and I've chosen what colors I want to add to it, then I'll figure out which project I'm going to do, which piece, a uh, tray or coasters or something, something fun. So let me go ahead and write my numbers. And I would like to apologize in advance for me to saying um, and, and so too many times. I'm nervous. I'm new and nervous. This is all an uphill fun battle. Okay, here we go. Number one, 26. That's a mica. 50. That's a mica. 277. Mm, not sure. 305. Almost to the end. Wow. Okay, so I've been given 26, 50, 277, and 305. Now I'm going to take a moment, grab my colors. And I'm going to grab the colors that were generated for me. When I get back, I'll show you the colors and show you what I've chosen to do my project with. I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Real quick. I needed to show you my color wheel so you know that I am serious about my colors being numbered. Here's all my micas. See one. Let's see. 33, my lucky number. 52. 65. 94, let me come down here. Oops, sorry, that's a little close. They start with the 100s. There's my pinata, which is numbered in the little container, 112. And all my colors that go down in between. Let me pull that back around so you can see in between. There we go. There's all my Bombay inks in there. And then all down here is my Pearl X's. So, I really, really do have a numbered color wheel. I just don't want y'all to think I'm just pulling numbers out of the sky with matching it up with a color that I want. Because I've already picked out the colors for our project. You're not going to believe what we were lucky enough to draw. I'm excited. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I don't live at home alone. Unfortunately, somebody's going to pop in even though I've put a sign up, put the mop on the door so everybody knows. Please just leave me alone just for a little while. Anyway, back to where I was stirring. The parakeet was really pretty. This is Azora. A O Z O R A. Blue. Mixes up really nice when you just put a little bit in with a little bit of resin. Do the gold. Pearl X never fails. Always such a pretty, pretty color. This is way better mixing it up like this. I highly recommend it to everybody. And then you don't have the mica flying up in your face, which I'm sure is not good to breathe. Speaking of which, I have my art room well ventilated. I have a fan that blows directly on my face. I have a standalone air conditioning unit for in here to pull the air out and bring fresh air in. I'm working on getting an air purifier. But it's non-toxic and to me it doesn't stink. I mean, I don't think that this resin stinks at all. 
but that's just me. Oh, speaking of this resin, I didn't tell you what I was using. Shame, shame, shame. I am using ClickerCast 7000 by the Epoxy Resin Store. This resin is super, super good, and it is budget friendly. I first started uh, looking for a budget friendly resin when I started um, deal using epoxy resin. I used to work with UV resin. Then I saw a video for a freeform bowl using epoxy resin. I became hooked. Ever since then, I have been trying to find a good resin that was good on the wallet. Well, I just knew, realized this the other day. The first resin I purchased, and I thought was okay, but I wanted to try others before I just picked the first one. I mean, normally odds are you don't get the first one right away. So I went and I looked that the first resin I bought was also made by the epoxy resin store. It was just a different kind that they made. So kind of neat, the epoxy resin store, I'm back to it, and I can't see leaving it anytime soon. I really like them and highly recommend anybody try it. Just sharing that from my heart. No other reason except to pass on good inf information. I mean, look at how clear it is. It's like water, not a single bubble, not a one. So cool. Okay, let me finish putting resin in here. I'm gonna keep talking and my resin is gonna be cured. All right. These cups are three ounce cups. I'm gonna pour them up about two and a half. I'm making a mess. I will have to get that. Yeah, so my apologies for being new at this, and it'll take me a video or two, which I hope you'll hang around to see me get better. All right, now that I've got that mixed in here, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the purple for the alcohol ink. Okay, that leaves me with a little bit of clear. Mix this in. Oh yeah, mixes way better. I heard one of my resinita, resinistas, I learned that on her channel, um, Julie, pouring your heart out. A lot of my firsts are gonna be with Julie because she was the first artist that I caught I mean, that ever since I saw the freeform bowl, I still haven't seen that video again. But Julie was the first one that I stopped on, and I binge watched all of her videos. So, there'll be a couple things I mentioned by her more than others, only because, like I said, I binge watched her. I forgot to put it in here. Lord, talking too much. Here, I make a mess. But you need to go check it. My point is, is you need to go binge watch her channel too. Talk about learning from a fine artist. If I knew how to link, which I'll figure that out, I would link her in my description. But just search, pouring your heart out, and she'll pop up. I think. I would think that it does. These colors are just fabulous. That mica mixed in that resin really good. Oh, this looks too light. But I think it'll be okay with these dark colors. All right. 
right, I think that one's mixed up enough now. Seems like I already mixed this one. This is mixed in pretty well. Yeah, I must have already done that one. I'm nervous. <laughs> I am nervous. It is my first video, so I'm trying. That's the purple. This is the dark purple that I might need to put in. All right, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's more pink. I do want purple. So let me put in five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, thought I had enough sticks. So yeah, I'm glad it had an alcohol ink. The alcohol ink with the micas will have a pretty cool effect. If this color will turn purple, I don't know what's going on. It's like separating. Not blending. These are Sigwong colors. And I googled what was some of the best. And believe it or not, it was above pinata. Google it. Sigwong. Uh, Sigwong. S-I-G-W-O-N-G. -G. But look, that's weak. Alright, this is the dark again. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Goodness gracious. Pour the whole bottle in. See what it's doing on the side of the cup? It's like it is attached to it. It won't release. Alright. It won't get dark. It will not get dark at all. Um, I have another one. Let's see what color I got. Purple, purple. I have grape. See, look, at this is how weak it is. Look at that. You saw how much I put in there. I don't know what the deal is. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I got something that'll make it purple. This is Let's Resin Purple Resin Pigment Paste. I'm gonna put in one, two. I'm trying not to get over the 10% ratio. You don't wanna put 10% more of color in there than you have of resin. Mm, by the way, I mixed up 12 ounces of resin to cover these molds. There we go, there we go, we got purple. Instead of transparent coolie. There we go. Okay, so I have a paste and I have an alcohol ink combined into one with all my micas. That's pretty good. So I was kind of thinking I'm just gonna do a puddle pour. Why not? Puddle pour is always good and pretty.
Okie doke. Let's get these over here. Here we go, pretty peacock. What's next? A little bit of white. Now we'll go some green. All right, now let's roll with gold. Alright, what's next? Blue. Meh. I've almost dropped a cup three times. I really hope that doesn't happen. These gloves. I reuse them if I can and this one my fingers way down to here. I can't get them on any tighter. But it's really messing with me. Let's see if that's better. I'm trying here. Okay, here we go. The only thing I don't like is I'm putting the purple on top of the blue. Why can't I put another layer of gold in there? Or white. I'll do white. Then I'll do the purple. It's okay to switch colors, isn't it? Is there a resin law that says I have to continue on with the same colors? Because if so, I broke the law. Call it a resin police. So I'm interested in seeing how well these colors go together. The computer has spoken and that's what we went with. Okay, now we'll go with the gold. That's all going. Now we got the green. Man, I almost dropped it again.
okie dokie. What do we got left? Like a drop of white and a little bit of blue. So, I mean, a lot of blue and a drop of white. Do I want to end on blue? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this little bit of white. A little bit for everybody to go around. I really shouldn't do the blue. I need to add some clear to fill these up because clear on its own makes special effects. So I'm just going to hold off on the blue. I'll put that in my sphere. Remind me, I'll show you my sphere. It's pretty cool. Something to put extra resin in. So no waste. No waste. So let me wipe this up. Apologize, y'all. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in a cup. Instead of me trying to... Well, now I'm going to put it in a cup. Just dug it right in there. Ah. I'm doing my best to clean this cup without making too big of a mess, but messes are inevitable when it comes to resin, isn't it? Okay, I'll clean this little area up in just a minute. Cause it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. That's good for now. All right, let me get down and dirty, see where we're at. Looking good. Other than that little bit of blue I have left over and measured, that's pretty daggone good. That's a battle on its own, right? Okay. Finish it off right there. Okay. Well, how's it looking? I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised with this color combo. I know I am. Yeah. See, here's my sphere. I'll add it when we're finished, but yeah, here's my sphere. Hopefully it'll turn out to be something cool. Put this over here. All right, I need to use the torch. Oh my goodness, I almost dropped that right in there. Throw that in the trash. Careful on the mold. It will melt and it'll stick to your project. There's hardly any bubbles in this resin though, so I did it quick. And that's what we got. Pretty good, I think. I really like the colors. I'm so excited to see what happens. All right, my friends. I'll come back and we'll see what's going on in a couple hours. See where we're at. Okay, till then, I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Good afternoon. Should be good morning, but good half a second to you. Nonetheless, I'm back with the results from our number generated colors. If you'll recall, just a minute ago, <laughs> we went over the colors. Parakeet green, 
by Rolio, purple by Sigwong, gold by Perlex, and then Azora blue by Eye Candy. I chose to add Perlex's Micro Pearl, dark purple by Sigwong, grape by Pixix, and Let's Resin Resin Pigment Paste in the color purple. Those were my choices I added. So, let's see what we got. I'm super excited. Look at that side. Now, I don't know if this means good or bad, but I like the way it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. So, let's check them out. These cute little peacock molds. And I really hope they turn out, y'all. For my first video, something good. My fingers are crossed. Are yours? I know you're wishing good thoughts for me. All resinistas and resonators want good work to come out for everybody. You know what goes in to making a project, to making a pretty piece. It's not just zip, zip, put it together. And $30 later, or however much your resin and supplies cost, you have something. It's not that simple. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Bam! That's not bad. See the green around it? The white and the purple. All right, bam! See a little more purple. Bam! That's basically like this one. Bam! Basically like this one. So I don't see the blue, the purple out. I guess I should have kept that light. I don't really see the blue. A little bit in here. Maybe I should have used less green. I don't know. I don't know. I think less green probably would have been the case. I mean, I thought that gold was going to overtake. But I don't even see any of the gold down here. A little bit. On the back, you see the purple pretty good. See it through here. I don't even see the gold. I see it. I think I wish it would have stayed like this. But it didn't. This is what we have. I don't think it's too bad. I think it's at least a B for beautiful. Did I go over the grading system? I don't think I did. After doing 20 first videos and not getting one produced yet, I'm hoping this is going to be the first. But my intention was to ask if you guys would vote for me and vote, give me a grade. A being awesome, B being beautiful, C being cute, and NA means try again, Sam. So in my comments, if you would, just give me a grade on how well you think I did. My efforts, not just the, the results, but the effort that I put into getting and the knowledge that it seemed like I had when putting my piece together for you. It's just a little help for me so I know how far I have to go before I'm a better artist with resin. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. And I know that with the perseverance, the knowledge that I'm getting, and just continuing to strive to do better, I will get it. I will make some amazing pieces. There's a future for me in resin, I am sure of it. So, this is all I have for today. I certainly hope you will like, share, subscribe, grade, and maybe even consider the notifications button so the next time I get a video out, hopefully won't be as long as it has been for this one you'll be able to see my next video, be able to see what computer numbers are generated for the colors that we will need to do a project. So thank you. Thank you for spending a little time with me. I hope to see you back again real soon. Take care.